Hi, my name is Bethany with Silver Salon, and today we're going to be showing you how to do the fringe braid. These are the products that you'll need to use. We just have a clip, some bobby pins, some elastics, the design effects, taffy, and powder up texturizer. Right now we're going to go ahead and section off a little bit of the front of her hair. And we're just going to grab small sections as we go back. And what we're going to do is use our powder up texturizer. And we're just going to pour this on the roots of her hair and rub it in. And we're going to keep doing this on her hair until we've reached to right behind her ear. Just make sure that you keep rubbing this in really well. This is going to give a lot of lift from the hair off of the scalp. And it's going to help us have a really good grip on the hair as we do the fringe braid. We'll just finish rubbing it in really good to her hair. Now we're going to go ahead and section off the hair into just the amount that we need to do the braid. The rest of this hair we're going to just use our clip that we have and we're going to clip that back out of our way. This is about how much you'll need. And now we're just going to get our taffy. Put a little bit of it on your hand. You won't need a whole bunch. Get a little bit on your fingers and rub this in at the front of her face. This is going to tame any flyaways that you have. And you can also put this on the ends. And now we're going to be grabbing the front section to start off our braid. We're going to be doing an inverted fringe braid. So you're going to grab three sections just like this and fold them under the middle section. We're going to do this just like a normal braid two times just to give us a good start. And then you're going to be grabbing from the side. We're going to be pulling from the side closest to her scalp, just a little bit of hair, and adding it to that left side. And you're next going to fold that under that middle section, grab from the right side some hair, and add it to your right side section, pull that under the middle as well just like that and now we're going to keep doing this and picking up hair from each side as we go back as you do this make sure that you're pulling the hair in a backwards direction and not in a downwards direction if you pull downwards that's when you're going to have loops in the braids so just keep braiding and make sure you're pulling back away from the face Once you get here, you can stop picking up hair from each side. That'll be the last one that we pick up, and we're just going to continue the braid without picking up from each side. And then we're going to tie it up with an elastic, just like that. Now we're going to be pulling back um, a section of the hair from the back and holding onto our braid and grabbing a little bit of hair from that section with an elastic and tying these together. This is going to hide the elastics once you pull the hair back over that braid and give her a nice polished look. Just like that. And then you'll pull the hair back over and you don't even know it's there. Lastly, we're going to be grabbing our design effects. You're just going to spray this on the braid and to the hair just to make sure you don't have any leftover flyaways and it just gives that final touch lastly you can also go back through and pull the braid apart just a little bit this is a really great thing to do if you have thin hair kind of like me um, it just makes your braid look a lot more thick and gives your hair a more thick look and there you have it the french braid